Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. You might hear some excitement in my voice because I love this video so, so much. The results, guys, if you don't like it, I will refund you. I will refund you. <laughs> we are going Steampunk Nebula again, only this way we are going backwards. We're doing things the other way around. So in previous videos, you would have seen how we splash our molds with chameleon powders, micas, throw the glitter, the foil, put it all in there, shove it all in there this way around we're doing it the other way so we are filling our molds with black first i really wanted to see how this technique would look against black resin that was already cured and oh my gosh guys it will not disappoint you will not be disappointed i am creating two completely different styles here and i figured i'll take you along and show you both and put it all in one video so i hope that's okay with you guys we're going to show you two completely different styles we are using the chameleon powders by let's resin again this is all linked down below and we're only using two colors per palette Okay, this cannot get any easier. In this one here, we're going with magenta and galaxy. This is gonna give us that real stereotypical kind of pinks, blues, galaxy background. And then the other colors, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. We're going grunge, we're going grunge. So similar to previous videos, just flick your powders in there, but not too much. We still want that black background we still want that deep space feeling then we're spraying it with our alcohol spray now this is isopropyl 99% alcohol spray that's just to get those powders moving get them blending get them a little bit more just nebula I guess <laughs> just nebula and now I am putting some inclusions in here but here's the thing I know that you know steampunk is a lot more than just these items that i have but really these are the items that i have i filmed this video before i got any items from my amazon haul you would have seen that a few videos back now but i was running out guys i was rapidly running out of inclusions for my steampunk projects which is why i, I went online and actually placed an order but oh, already Already, I was obsessed. I was like, this is incredible. Spraying that alcohol on those chameleon powders gets the chameleon powder real spread out and just stunning. And it dries within seconds. So you'll see me placing items down here. It's all dry. So it's all a real nice dry base. So it's all good. You don't have to worry about moving that chameleon. You're not going to disturb that chameleon powder. It is completely set at this point. So just have a play with what you've got. And I was kind of frantically looking. I've got nothing left. <laughs> I've got nothing left. Um, so yeah, I was trying to do my best. And all of these clock faces, watches, they come with the holes. So you can actually just put the on a chain immediately you don't have to do anything with them just hook a chain up and you've got an item however I didn't want that I didn't want the hooks at the top so just get your cutters and snip them off pretty easy to do although I will say solid proper wire cutters would be better than the small craft jewelry cutters yeah I've probably dented them a little bit but you know we, we use what we've got guys we use what we've got at this point I'm in love. I totally love it. Tell me why I neglected this one down here. This little kind of, I don't know, what do you call it? Kidney shape? I don't know. I forgot all about it. It was almost like it didn't exist. But I did go back and I added a little bit of something into that before I added my glitter. Now, I'm currently just pinching this between my two fingers. We don't want too much glitter. We don't want to overpower but we do want a hint of a far distant, a far reaching galaxy with a cluster of stars and one spray of the alcohol. I'm only spraying this to A, keep the stars in place and B, diminish air bubbles. At this point, we're not filling them up. We're gluing them down. So we're just using a real small smidgen, just a little drizzle of resin to pin down almost like when you're sewing and you use pins to keep everything in place we're doing that we're not filling them up at this point I know they are metal and they probably won't float however the stars and the glitter or oh, haven't used stars yet oh I just gave something away the glitter might float you never know so I just wanted to pin as much down as I could before you know 
committing and filling them completely to the surface. I didn't want any raised lumps and bumps. Okay, next up, we are going grunge. Guys, this is my favorite colors. Why have I not been using these colors? Why? <laughs> we are using two colors from the Let's Resin Chameleon range, and that is golden and champagne. Now, golden and champagne pretty much looks, I mean, they don't, but they do, but, but they don't, they look similar, as in they're both from the golden kind of family, but actually their color shift is incredible. The color shift on the gold is like a murky kind of grungy green. And then coupled against the champagne, oh my gosh, this just screamed grunge to me. I absolutely love the combination. So you saw me there give them a light spray of that alcohol. And over this, we're going to add more stars. More stars, as in you've seen these glitters in a previous video. This is a pack of glitter that was sent to me by I Love Mixed Media for some Alice in Wonderland theme videos that I will have coming up at some point. Um, she sent this along to me and it's a stunning glitter. Really, really beautiful. Just put it in until you're happy and pretty much repeat the steps. Now, it was at this point I really had to dig deep and just work out what fits. <laughs> At this stage, it was whatever fits is getting chucked in. Like it's just getting thrown in there. And again, I had a few clock faces left. So I just ripped off. I cut off that toggle at the top and just made the best of what I had left. It really was not much at this point. But I was so in love. Sometimes I create something and I'm like, I could stare at this all day long. So again, whatever you've got to hand, whatever inclusions you have, just pack it all in, shove it all in. Trust the process, that's key here, trust the process. I may not have mentioned the resin, I think I have, but it is the Vista Turbo Fast Cure. Now I've said it, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it. I don't want, I don't want anyone asking in the comments what I've used because I haven't, I haven't told you guys, but all of the details are in the description box below. If you ever see a video of mine, check the description box. Now I'm just showing you a few pieces here, like the cogs, they're just way too big. I wasn't trying to fit these big pieces in by the way, because <laughs> I'm not that, do you know what I mean? I was just showing you how cool some of these pieces are and they will look amazing in much bigger molds. But yes, I found one, finally found a little cog and actually didn't really have anywhere to put it at this point. So we are pretty much done. Project is a good one. Next up, we are just going to hold all of these down in place with some resin. If you can hear George barking, it's because the postman is delivering mail and he doesn't like people walking past the house, apparently, because he pays the mortgage. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, same thing again. We're using a small smidgen, a tiny little drizzle of resin just to hold everything in place. I was worried about that those stars because, <laughs> you know, I gave it away. I was worried about them stars floating up I didn't want them resting on the surface of the resin so I did I went ahead and did the same thing here and just glued everything down before coming back the next day to finish them off give them a top coat and ah uh, yeah cannot wait to show you the results same thing with the alcohol go over guys go over the top minimize the risk of those air bubbles the alcohol will knock all, all the air out and at this point I, I just couldn't I couldn't stop. It reminds me of that film. What is that film? Water something. Oh, what's the name of that massive movie? Water something. Guys, I'm going to have to Google, but not right now because I am mid voiceover. <laughs> it reminds me of that. Very, very, very steampunk. We've got two completely different aesthetics going on here as well. And I'm loving that. We've got the real kind of pinky, you know, sparkly. And then we've got the grunge. And I am all about that industrial grunge. I love it. I did start off going easy here with the top coat. Everything underneath this has cured. Everything is solid, set in stone, cured. So this is now top coat for this resin i'm actually using vista rapids vista rapids is a thin top coating resin by vista and i use this a lot when it comes to top coating and it's it's just the perfect because it's really perfect for shallow depths and 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 top coating how many times could i say top coating and yeah you saw me starting off slow but 
guys, if you know me, I haven't got the patience for that. I just haven't got the patience for that. It's just like, get it in there, Claire. Pour it straight from the jug and deal with the consequences afterwards. Luckily, we did quite a neat job on the top coat. But guys, check this out. I put my torch on my phone. Can we cope with this sparkle? I honestly was like a child. I was like, ooh, look at this sparkle. And yes, I didn't film myself saying that because, you know. Anyway, next day, demol time. I am in love. I, I am obsessed. I have to say it, guys. I'm sorry. I'm obsessed. I absolutely love these. This specific mold has got rounded edges and it just help. It makes them feel like these super silky nuggets. Cannot explain it. I'm not going to take you through every single piece as I demold it because I'm aware I need you guys to be with me. I need that retention. So I'm just showing you these two. This one here is my absolute favorite. There is something about it. Tiny cluster of bubbles on the surface. I'm not going to cry about it because I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I love it. I love it. I want this on a wall clock. I want that in a massive tray. I want it everywhere in my house. Everywhere. All of the others are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This is the grunge. This is the golden and the champagne chameleon powders. Stunning. Love them. This is the more ethereal. Is that the word? I don't even know. Like more of the fairy type more of the kind of disney type space the purples the pinks all of the colors that i've been using so far love them i love this mold like give one to you give one to your bestie oh love it absolutely love it this one here on the right that i kind of neglected i kind of love i actually really loved the simplicity of that one as well but again two completely different styles we've got this style here with the pink the purple the blue and then we've got the other style which is the grunge let me know which one's your favorite because the grunge stole my heart now do you remember my amazon haul i actually ordered these pinch bales specifically for these pendants they don't even work. They do not work. So please bear in mind, if you did go ahead and order these, they're really only suitable for big holes. So like if you get a pendant mold that has a much bigger hole, they, they won't work on this one. I couldn't believe it. I was like, the colors match, everything matches. But these are more, they're more rugged and they've got much bigger areas. So Sadly, I'm going to have to go and do some more shopping, get me some pinch bales that work with these. But I hope this has been inspiring for you guys because I'm head over heels in love. I think these are the most beautiful pendants. I know I said that about the Chinese New Year pendants, but I think these are the most beautiful pendants I have made and I cannot get over them. I know I've just demolded. I hope you love them. Again, I'm trying not to talk for the next 10 minutes um, based on all the, the advice that you guys gave me. Yeah. I just feel inspired. I hope you do too. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. And guys, thank you. I appreciate you all massively. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.